So today we're going to be looking at how to make jiggly physics in Blender. There are many ways to go about this, but we are going to go for the fastest, easiest and most fun way to do this. Uh, so there is a plugin called Wiggle Bones. So it's actually not a plugin, it's just a Python script. Uh, so you just have to go to this page. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can download it. And uh, then you just click on this button to download it to your computer. And then in Blender, switch to scripting and open uh, the file. It's just a Python file. You find it in your download file, just select it and then open don't change anything just click uh, the play button at the top here to run the script and uh, then you can go to the layout and start uh, playing with it so if we add a bone an amateur and uh, go to edit mode and then subdivide this a few times uh, something like that then you can see that uh, if we go to uh, the, the object data properties of the amateur we'll see that we now have a wiggle amateur enabled now to add the jiggle animation to the bones all you have to do is go into pause mode and select the bones uh, that we want to have uh, the jiggle or jiggly effect and then you can you can go to the bone properties and then you can turn on jiggle bone uh, to make it jiggle so we want all these bones jiggle except the bottom one the first amateur where all the other bones are parented is uh, the bone you don't want to have uh, the wiggle bone effect uh, because it will just create a lot of errors now that we have given the wiggle bone uh, property to all the other bones we can see we can play with this and see how it works so let's uh, just you can just hit play and select the parent bone you can see now we have some jiggle but uh, this is a boring way to test this uh, it's not that fun so let's go and uh, do some fun stuff with this let up the Mixamo website and uh, let's find also some character and see how this would perform in a, in a, in a good character uh, with uh, assets. So let's uh, select this character here, uh, use this character and uh, let's also select an interesting animation. Let's just give it a moment uh, to, read, to load. So I think this is a, this would be a good uh, character to test out uh, this type of animation. So we can go to the animation properties and uh, find also, let's just search jump and find also some nice jumping animation because uh, it will just make the physics look more realistic with uh, when we do that. So let's find a good jump animation. This is too violent. Let's find something. Uh, yeah, I think this joyful jump could uh, work very nicely. Now you can see that uh, this is the raw animation we are getting from Mixamo. There is nothing jiggling about it so just hit download and uh, download the character i've already downloaded the character myself so i'm just not going to do that for now so then you can go to blender i uh, don't let me get rid of these boring bonds and uh, go to file import fbx joyful jump import get rid of this plane yeah so everything is loaded and uh, this is what we have and it, it will just make a single jump because uh, we, we need the animation to be repeated a few times so uh, we can just duplicate select the amateur and uh, duplicate this keyframe so that the animation repeats itself like so so i'm going to duplicate this further so that uh, we have a nice time uh, for the jiggly bones so you can see that uh, this area here doesn't have any amateurs uh, which, we are, which are going to be necessary uh, to make uh, those areas jiggle. So what we're going to do is uh, add in some amateur. Let's uh, select uh, the amateur, go to edit mode, and then maybe let's also make sure that uh, we turn on in front so that we can see all the, the bonds in front. So what I'm going to do is uh, first go to edit mode so that we can create the amateurs or bonds for the areas we want to jiggle. Uh, so then, uh, so I'm just going to turn on mirror here. So I can select, I think I can go with uh, this bone here. It's going to duplicate this and uh, move it around here, rotate it. You want to position it so that it covers uh, the areas you want to do and uh, we can duplicate this and uh, so you also want to make sure that uh, the bones are parented to the right 
area. I think this is uh, good enough at uh, this position here. Uh, so this bond should be, I think, parented to this here. Uh, make sure you don't connect. Just keep offset. Same with this. Yeah, so I think that's good enough. Now, if we play back, go back post mode. Okay, I think we parented these ones to the wrong uh, bond. So we're going to go back to edit mode. I think this should be parented to this. Keep offset. And yeah, so yeah, that's what we want. And now let's go to the front side and see. Yeah, that's good. Now, then we can select the bonds we want to jiggle. So this, this, and this. And uh, go under, uh, where is that? Go to the, yeah, go to the bond properties and turn on jiggle. And you can see that uh, our bonds are already jiggling. Ex uh, the, now, the issue is that, let me actually just hide all the other bonds uh, so that we only focus on these. Now, the problem is that uh, these have not, don't have any vertex weight groups uh, to affect the mesh itself. So what we can do now is create vertex group for them. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, rename them. Press F2, I'll call this B, B left, B right. And this one can be, and this can be two. And you need to give them meaningful names because that's what we're going to be using for the vertex group. So now we can go to the mesh and start creating those vertex groups. So I'm just going to, I think I called this, I, I created B left. So I can select this area, but uh, I then deselect the right area. Then assign, then create B, right select this uh, select this area select this area then deselect this side assign go here I think this was supposed to be B but one assign and uh, if we have named everything correctly i should already see some jiggle effect you can see how amazing is that <laughs> yeah yeah if you name everything right you everything will just work as it is supposed to yeah i think that's uh great and uh, i'm not sure if there is anything else i can show you here i think yeah so i think uh, we might have renamed this wrong so this is part bad too so let's look at uh me just look at uh, this mesh because i think they are but to select Oh, I see. So, but two should be this side. So, this uh, but two should be that. And now, I think, yeah, everything works as it should. And uh, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for watching.